Yeah, I can't even lie. This thing's bringing out my inner nerd and I absolutely love it. I should have always known that I was probably going to get along with a DAW like this because I love Skrillex's production. I love people like Flume's production. And after playing around with Ableton for a little while, I can see how they're able to make what they're able to make. I've made more beats than I've made before in a week whilst using this because it's just fun. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm just like enjoying myself. I'm not just going to stick with logic because of some sense of loyalty. At the end of the day, I need to use the thing that's going to help me to be the most creative. So I said, I'm going to check out Ableton. And thankfully, they had a 28 day trial. And I'm so happy I did it because I really do see what people mean. I mean, the browser alone. So for example, if I want to browse my drums and I just want to go through very quickly. Just plays back instantly, but I can also just like search for anything by hitting command F and I'll be like, do you know, what? I need the P44, P44 down, enter. And it's just loaded that onto the channel. You saw how quick that was like, I, it's so hard going back to Logic's browser now that I've experienced what's possible. There's no excuse for that. Logic, I'm not even trying to attack you. I genuinely want you to be better and to do better. But if this is a battle right now, on the browser front, you are losing horrendously. You, this is a UFC fight and you're on the floor and the referee's not even stopping the fight. That's what's happening to you right now because You can even see how frustrated I'm getting. I just need to close this down. That browser, oh my gosh. And Logic, I, I don't want to hear nothing about it's because the sounds are running off an external hard drive. Because Ableton sounds are running off an external hard drive. Studio One, the sounds are running off an external hard drive. No one else has this issue apart from you. Even Fruit Loops plays back samples straight away. And I don't, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to pay £100,000 to get your eight terabyte internal storage? Listen, Apple, don't mess with me today, man. It's not the day. And it's crazy to me because Apple is a company, what they seem to stand for and making things easy, smooth, their ergonomic approach towards things. That browser in Logic is not representing Apple as a company at all. If anything, you would think that Apple designed the browser inside Ableton. I said what I said about Logic's browser before, but now it's even worse now, because now that I've experienced this, oh my gosh, I can't go back. And like literally, if I click plug in and I cancel off the search, I was able to place everything into my own custom lists as well. So vintage emulation, it will show me the different brands and I'll have these different things that I'll play with that I use for that kind of sound. Or if I go to saturation, same thing. And then I've got my different brands and I can customize those folders however I want by hitting edit. And then if I have a sound, I can click on that sound and then I can click anything within this list. And essentially it will enable me to folder that however I want it to be. It just seems like this DAW is one gigantic modular synth. And the fact that it has the Max for Live stuff built in where you can essentially make your own plugins and whatnot, I'm defo gonna be learning that over the next decade. Um, it just seems modular. I mean, take this for example, I had this very basic hi-hat sound And I wanted to make it interesting, so I just started playing around with the delay and just check out just how intuitive this process is. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just able to just be like a little kid. Like, ultimately I settled on something like this. And then the same thing, like I had just this basic like rim shot sound. Sounding like one Casio metronome. And then I'm able to put this on it. 
and ultimately, all I'm doing here is I'm playing with these modulation things at the bottom for the time and for the filter. So if I turn them off, So essentially, I wanted that to be able to move by itself. So then I just hit the time, so it modulates the time. And then I hit the filter, so it modulates this filter to move. Do you know what I mean? And already, like, I'm in, like, I'm having fun. And I take a kick, take a snare, add it to that. Do you know what I mean? It's like we're ready in. Like I just had some like crazy little dub thing and it ended up just like being a ton of fun. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm, it's just, it's so creative. Like even this synth, for example, I just wanted to play in like a basic stab sound. It's so jokes, this is like an unintentional beat breakdown, right? Um, but I just found this basic sound and then I just played in this pattern. I love me some jazz. And then obviously the original OTT is here. As in like, I use OTT on everything. I, 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 Ableton literally defined EDM as a genre. Let's not take that away from Ableton. They really did because OTT, I can't tell you the decades spent trying to find out how these EDM people getting things to sound like that, not knowing that it was this damn preset inside Ableton. Thankfully, Expert brought out a version of it that you can have outside of Ableton. But now I've got the original OTT and it just feels good, man. So I just whacked that on this synth before. After. And then I just took that same principle playing around with delay. Like literally when I opened this DAW, I said, I'm just gonna mess around with this one delay plugin. Cause remember I gave that video about the best way to learn is to just go through one thing at a time and learn what it can do in every single way. So even when I was making this beat, I was literally just trying to experiment with the delay plugin to just get as many crazy sounds as possible and listen to what it does to this synth. So I'll take it off. Then we're gonna put it in. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, sorry, my voice is a bit mad. I'm recovering from a cold. There's something going around. Be careful, people. But and you just take kickstart, put it on the end of that. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... Just take a little 808. Yeah, and the best thing is, is like, none of this was taking me long within Ableton because I'm just like, I just, I don't know, it just, it's crazy because I want to say it feels like a toy and I don't mean that like in an offensive way, but it just feels like a toy. It feels like I'm just playing again. And the fact that everything is just like modular, like you can map anything to anything. So for example, if I wanted to take like an LFO um, and just drag it here, but I wanted this LFO to modulate, um, I don't know, the dry wet of OTT. Uh, that could sound pretty intense actually. Um, I could just go map and then I just click here, amount, and now automatically you can see how it's modulating that. But if I wanted to map additional things, I just open this list and I can map and, and how many, like, I think that's like eight or 10 or something like that. I can have this LFO modulate 10 different destinations. So for example, if I wanted it to also slightly um, modulate, let's see, uh, the dry wet of the delay as well, then I can also change the amount. 
So if I don't want the dry wet to be modulating as much, you can see as I'm adjusting this, it's changing how much it's doing it by. And if I also want the OTT not to do as much, or if I want it to do 100%, then I can do that as well. And then naturally I can set this to like map to the tempo. And then it's just, I mean, you can just see right how creative. <laughs> Like, there's, it seems like whatever crazy mad scientist thing I can imagine in my head is doable, is possible. And if for whatever reason the plugin doesn't exist, there's this Max for Life thing, which is essentially a way to code your own custom plugins. And then there's this whole community of people who have made these external plugins. Like, it's just so fun. And it's crazy because it didn't take long it didn't take long at all to learn this thing because it's just super intuitive. With any DAW, once you know how to record something in, once you know how to create a MIDI clip, show the piano roll, show the mixer, and add a plugin, like really and truly everything else is kind of the same. Like shortcuts are just gonna take a while to learn, but it's just been, it's just been super fun, super fun. However, there's a lot of things that I obviously don't know about Ableton. So please like do me a favor in the comments down below. If you use Ableton, like please share some dope cool things with me that you're absolutely loving about this DAW because I really want to learn it. As I said, I'm not completely ditching Logic. I'm still going to be giving tutorials on Logic because I think for mixing, it's just a bit more straightforward. Logic is more CPU efficient than Ableton. Basically what I mean is I, transported my actual mix template from Logic over into Ableton and it's using up way more CPU without me doing anything. So for example, in Logic, it was hovering around 40 to 50%, just my template with everything, all the oversampling and everything. Whereas in Ableton, it kind of hovers around 70% as a starting point in terms of CPU usage. So I will always mix in Logic because I get 100 plus stems sometimes and I don't want to be running into CPU issues. But when it comes to making beats, I'm genuinely excited to see what kind of music I'm going to make inside of this DAW because it feels like, you know, 20 years ago when I first discovered Fruity Loops and that feeling of fun, that's what I've got again. But anyway, my name's Alex Elliott. If you like this kind of content and you're not already a subscriber, you know what to do, like and subscribe. And other than that, I look forward to seeing all of you next time. And please pray that I can get better soon because when I get these colds, man, and I blow my nose, everything just goes into my ears. So I can't hear nothing right now. This mix probably sounds dreadful. Anyway, signing off. Signing off? What they saying? Star Trek, bro.